Hello everyone and welcome to Ethical Hacking with Nmap course from Cordro DC Council. I'm happy to be here with your journey at Ethical Hacking with Nmap course and let's learn a lot of things. But before that, let's have an overview and what we're gonna do, what we're gonna learn, and what we're gonna need, and what is our goal exactly. To be able to perform a successful penetration testing or ethical hacking, first you need to know all the secrets of your target. It's like a battlefield. You should know all the systems, networks, the IPs, and all the flaws of your devices and targets that you have. The network that you have, anything, your target. Before to process into your penetration testing, critical hacking, or anything what you're doing, auditing, NMAP is a very, very popular uh, tool against all the technicians, all the hackers, all the penetration testers around the world. And anyone, in fact, who wants to discover more about the security of a network and its hosts, they're using this tool. This course is based on a real experience using Nmap in network security tests on a huge variety of networks. And in the end, you will have the information you need to safely and effectively scan a network for vulnerabilities, services, and to find more information about your target and hosts. You will start out at a very basic and work your way to writing your own basic and map script engine, which we call it NS here, which is perfect. We're gonna teach you all the things from basics, even uh, maybe you don't know or maybe you don't know, but we consider that you're just you no know, beginner trying to find your way. So we try to start from way, way beginning, try to explain a lot of things, and we actually pay attention to a lot of things that actually not considering the course, but we tell them to ourselves that it's very good to uh, teach them to our audience to have a better understanding on what's happening here. We don't want to have a course that just tell the things and just pass it out. We have Pythons, we have a lot of things. We have a program, we have batch scripting, we have uh, Linux commands. So at the end of the day, you will become an expert to using the most powerful and flexible network scanner available from now I'm talking as far as I'm talking right now. So but you should know that living in a world with a full of vulnerabilities and cybersecurity traits and flaws, without any protection or prevention, we walk through a cyber world. Indeed, all of us need to be cautioned about the world we live in, without any doubt. So in this course, we try to import the most significant titles and most useful real-world practice to you, as I mentioned, to make sure that you're going to be personal in this world at the end of the day. But I'm not going to mention that. For sure, you need a lot of practice, you need a lot of doing a lot of scenarios you cannot just be a professional by just seeing a course you need a lot of practice a lot of scenarios in different situations but be aware of that all the scenarios should be practiced in a practical environment or virtual machines and we would not take any responsibilities or purposes for cause of the use so be aware of that because if you attack any network attack any website and they find it out and they don't like it they can report it they can sue you and anything that could be happened to avoid a uh, problem as far as you can, try to have a safe cunning and actually fun hacking. Who is our target audience? This course is perfect for vertical hackers, cybersecurity professionals, the people who just begin to start understanding this. We have topics for beginners, we have topics for professionals trying to learn maybe new things. System administrators, network administrators who are interested in uh, how learning to use Nmap to improve their lives and careers to improve their networks. So even if you are never used Nmap before, this course will be take you from absolutely nothing to an expert in Nmap. There are a lot of keys that I probably gonna mention like now that learn Nmap fundamental that are really critical for every ethical hacker to know. So don't think you can just pass it and just say, oh like Nmap is very important, one of the most important things when you Learning ethical hacking, you see a lot of steps that is very important, and you see that you need to work with a tool or scenarios to find information and enumerate your target to get information about it. Learn about the various integration and software that can make you a more productive hacker. And our approach is that to, in this course, to beaming the, with exciting labs designed in a combination with a lot of an a variety of engaging examples, hands-on training, hands-on instructions, and a straightforward explanation to guide you on your journey toward Nmap mastery. 
During this course, as I mentioned, we will not merely cover theory, but apply in practice on um, whether trustly call Linux, which are machines, or actually we can like I'm gonna explain it later, but usually we use Cal Linux. You can use any picture testing machine you like, but Cal Linux is one of the most popular things in data collectors, so we're gonna stick to that. We directly uh we will directly use and utilize the course materials targeting numbers, labs, machines, weight, and math. What are you gonna learn? We're gonna talk about topics, but just an overview that's upon completing the comp course after the end of the day. When you complete the last videos, when you practice and listen well and repeat and repeat again, you will be highly reversed and versed and practical in a map. And uh, you can be a wizard in that. You can write your own script, you can write your own tool in a map, you can write your own as each round the specific scanning to get a lot of information about your targets to provide an open mind to your target. For example, when you want to Hack a target, test your soft, test your network. At the end of the day, when you know Nmap, your life gonna be easier. You're gonna use because you know what's going on, what's happening there, and you're gonna find a lot of things about it. We talk about MySQL, SMB, FTP, SSH, DNS, and much more to enumerate techniques for these such protocols. We will cover geographical Nmap tools such as Zenmap. We will find out how to integrate Nmap. Into numerous other tools like uh, Monero Exploit and Faraday. We talk about XML and uh, how to grab our outputs. We talk about the numerous and variety of the op options and uh, switches that we have in Nmap. We talk about a lot of it about how to write your own script, how to work with the scripts, how to enumerate and work with a lot of services in the Nmap. So you don't need to worry about it because everything is covered completely. So let's go to the topics and see what we're going to talk about exactly. As you can see, we have the sections here. This is slide and next slide. Section one is about course introduction and lab setup. We're going to talk about the things that we're going to cover, talk about Nmap, what is Nmap, and most important thing, set up a lab. What we need in this course, how we're going to do it. I'm going to go through from basics. If you don't know how to set up your lab, Make sure that you have a very reliable lab for this course to test them. In section two, we have Nmap essentials. We're going to tutorials, we're going to talk about ports, we're going to talk about how we can use a ping scans, what is information gathering, we talk about protocols, TCP, UDP, CNS scans, we're going to talk about operation systems and how to detect them in the network. This is what we're going to do in Nmap essentials. In section three, we have Nmap scripting engine part one, basic scripts, which I told you that we have a lot of things about NSA things. We're gonna first introduce you what is it exactly. We're gonna tell you and introduce you to standard scripts, talk about vulnerabilities analysis and about the script that is designed for vulnerabilities, for virtual attacks. But in section four, we're gonna talk about information that's how we can enumerate services such as DNS, HTTP, MySQL, SMB with these scripting engines. We have Nmap scripting engine part three, section five, to how to perform attack against the web app hackings. We have a lot of HTTP script parts in it. And at the end of the day, we have writing an ASC script to tell you how to customize and actually write a very basic thing to get to know what's happening exactly there. In the section six, we integration and map. We have talking about middle exploit, Friday output types, trying to combine other materials into this course, try to make composition for yourself. It's like, oh, now that makes sense. In the section seven, we have exploring graphical and map tools, which we're gonna talk about Zen map, Armitage, and all the things we're gonna install it, how to work with it, but definitely we always suggest to use command line, but in some case that some people like to use it in a graphical way on the Windows machines. And sometimes maybe you get exhausted from the command lines, who knows? What we're gonna in a section eight, we're gonna talk about NSE advanced step. Yes, that's right. We really, really focus on NSE because it's very important. We're gonna talk about how to work with an NSE brute, NSE library, and again how to write and under 
an NC script again. And we're going to talk about troubleshooting and debugging in programming because when you're running and when you're writing an NC script, basically you're doing programming. So we need to talk about going through some programming basics to tell you how to, you know, be more professional in your scripting. Section now we have analyzing, which we're going to talk about port status, opening a circuit, implementing your driver classes, which is very important. A little bit more professional way we talked about in section 10. We have vulnerability audit. We're going to tracing the packets, how it works. We're going to talk about firewall analysis. We're going to talk about vulnerability analysis and all the things that we need to do scanning for vulnerabilities. We're going to exploring and exploit the real VNC and then we're going to detecting vulnerable Windows system as well. In the last section, which is section 11, we're going to take it to the next level. What does that mean? We have a bash scraping, we have and we have Python scraping as well. We talk about programming as well too. Yeah, that's right. We try to include the most things that you need here in this course, not just MLP. We talk about command lines. We tell you Linux command lines. If you don't know how to use Linux, we tell you how to write your own script. We try. We can tell you how to write first your um, Python script for the first time. Your bash scraping and how to work with other languages as well and definitely we need to done after the section 11 and your job is going to begin which is review practice and exam you need to practice practice as i told you at the beginning of this video try to a lot of scenarios try to you know test yourself and all the things which is very helpful for you i'm going to promise you that if you practice a lot if you always upgrade yourself and improve yourself you're going to be great in your job all right, what we need here and what we suggest definitely for this course, as you can see, the minimum and maximum things that we need here, I really suggest you have at least four gigabyte optimal uh, memory and uh, a hard drive on your system, which is gonna be really, like more sufficient for you and gonna like not gonna hurt you in a bad way, not gonna play with you, your system not gonna hurt you. And uh, the system we're going to use, we're going to call Linux, which machine, and uh, a Windows machine that we're going to use. But our main system is Cal Linux. We're going to do most of the things on Cal Linux. If you don't have enough space, if you don't have enough RAM to install another Windows, you can use your own Windows, which we don't suggest because we're going to run operations. And it's probably better and for the best to run in the safe network, which our machines do not harm your system as well. Because we're gonna run meta exploit, we're gonna exploit the system. So we're not suggest you to just run it on your system. We really suggest to have another Windows machine on your virtual machine. The virtualization that we suggest, which is free, is virtual box or a virtual box, which is free. You can use it. If you can, you can use also use uh, VMware virtual machines, which is is the one I'm gonna use. But if you don't want to buy it, you can just easily use Oracle with Shopbox. There's no difference in it at all. One of them are going to do the same thing. And yeah, go for it. And uh, software request, as I told you, we need a normal operation system, a browser, and a stable network, or a graphical way to code for yourself as well. So here's some resource links. We just put it here for you. If you don't know how to download a Linux virtual machine, for the Oracle virtual box, just click on the link or just search it. You can see in this offensive security.com, which is the website who published the Cal links as well. And then the second link is the Oracle virtual box, which is you can download it easily in your system based on the your preference systems. As you can see, there's a picture as a sample here if you're confused when you go to the website. All right, here we go and see you on the course. Let's go.